Now we're recording. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, for the new people that will see the replay <laughs> of where we started recording, I'm just patting on her base color. And as you can see, there's already, or maybe you can't, there's already a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow. And I always do about two coats of that before I go in with the fluffy brush. And we're just gonna do windshield wiper mode back and forth and blend this out. So we just don't want any lines of demarcation, like no sharp creases. Smoke is the effect. So you want like a smoky effect. You don't want any harsh lines. You guys, look how, look how easy that is. I don't think it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> this to you. you can't don't wait till the zoom or the important thing to do it like find excuses just to play in your makeup because it's too stressful to just do it for the first time when you have something important so I'm going to take that same color we're doing this purple and use an eyeliner brush and we're going to go right underneath the eye to create the effect of having a more well-rounded eye so instead of just doing your top which a lot of people do you're going to want to take this right underneath too transformation so like i'm feeling how this feels on my eye and it feels different than when i do it like i think i'm like carefully <laughs> like doing the line and it felt like you were yeah you want it like i said you want it more smoky you don't want any harsh lines so you definitely want to get in there with the blending um so should i have you do the other eye that's what i normally oh do. oh my god okay what did i do she's gonna brush? have me do the other eye and I'll show it and I'll show you how. Okay. So, so I'm starting over here. You're starting at your lash line and patting it on. Oh, patting, not rubbing. Right, correct. What color shade is that? Um, it's called smoke. So actually that's perfect. <laughs> it's called smoke. <laughs> you see the smoke? All right, I need more, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, what brand of shadow that is and Charlotte what? Tilbury mm -hmm. all of it and the primer smash box so you're gonna what take, am I doing? you don't put anything on the fluffy brush the fluffy brush is just for blending oh so get wherever you ended at and get in it when windshield wiper yeah that's how get I normally it. do it I don't start <laughs> with the padding I just ah! <laughs> okay. no, no. Oh, no oh no okay I think I need more yeah a little more what do y'all think of this purple? It it's very, really good with your it's eye very dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so happy. What kind of, yeah, I can't read all those. Likey, Sorry, likey. So, and then I'm, I'm doing this gray. No. I'm Same still doing color purple. Underneath your lash line. I do it all wrong. You don't do it wrong. Makeup at the end of the day is basically a representation of however you want to present yourself. So whatever you're feeling, it's good to learn the techniques, but then you want to put your own spin on it. I'm feeling saucy-licious. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, so since I started the recording late, um, for those of you just joining, I'll just reiterate, Kana has been my makeup artist for eight years, mm -hmm. and she's showing us how to go from sweaty to sizzle for all your Zoom needs very easily. We're not doing like a thousand things. Someone asked about deep set eyes. When you have deeper set eyes, you wanna make sure your dark colors stay on the outside. So you would just take this color, go on the outside, and then put a lighter color on the inside of your eyes so that they don't look even more deep set. Um, any other questions as far as putting the eyeshadow on that I missed? So I think what was interesting, cause I, I have these brushes, didn't even know what the different ones were for. <laughs> <laughs> so we patted on with this, we blended with this, and then this is for the lash line, which mm -hmm. I did know, but I was doing it a little more exact. And we also, I love this brush because you can also use it for brows, which we'll do too. I like to do the full eye area and then move on. So we're gonna fill in her brows, do lashes and liner after we get the lashes on. So what do you use for your brows in here? I don't have anything for my brows. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> I did and I can't find it. 
So I love this. It's Anastasia um, Beverly Hills, and it's for blondes. So it's a nice neutral brown. You don't want any warm browns if you have um, blonde hair. Stacy says, I don't even have brushes, so you're ahead of me. Oh Janet goodness. wants to know, for older eyes, do you put darker shadow on the lid? I thought just the outer corner of the lid. Um, it really depends on your eye shape. I say it's fine for all of them except for deep set eyes. I am drinking Amino Energy <laughs> Juicy Cherry. It is actually good for you. It is not one of those energy drinks that's, that's harmful. Debatable. It's not debatable. We fight about this all the time. So, so for brows, I always start in the middle of the brow just in case I have too much on my brush. That way you don't get stuck with like <laughs> trying to wipe off the middle of your face constantly. But small strokes, you don't need any type of like, don't try to go across the whole brow. Small strokes and I take it to the front of the brow. And we're doing very little. Susan has great brows naturally, but when you're putting on quite a bit of makeup, you just want to make sure- Look at the difference, y'all. That you fill it, yeah. And that was a teensy bit. I really- Don't go crazy, no, like box brows are out. Don't do it. Box brows are out. What brows are in? Just like more natural fluffy brows. If you don't have fluffy ones, that's okay. Like you can fill them in. I really um, am. I'm before this RV trip, you guys, for Go Time TV. I'm going into Kana Studio to have her tent my brows. Well, first of all, we have to wax. Then she's gonna tent them. I've never had tenting done. Has anyone had tenting done? I love it. So, oh, look at this. Someone asked if there is an age that would be too old to use smoky eyes. Oh my goodness, no, no. I need Susan to bark at you guys about this stuff. Yeah, y'all gotta stop with all the age shit. Whatever makes you feel good. Um, I know there's lots of tips out there that uh, don't do this or it will age you. The only thing that I feel like age as a woman is too much eyeliner. Cake. Like stop, yeah, and too much powder. Mm -hmm. So too much of anything, not good. Um, we want to see like your real skin and everything is supposed to accentuate what's already going on. Okay, right. so yeah, got the brows filled in. Lashes, we talked about cutting lashes. Have you put lashes on yourself before? Oh my God, I, I, <laughs> I've tried and I like throw things. Um, Mascara for long lashes. We'll get to mascara in just a minute. In a second. I've done it professionally. So lashes, I think everyone should try lashes at least once. You don't have to wear them all the time. Magnetic ones are fine. I'm weird about that stuff. Glue also kind of terrible for your eyes, but I just don't know. I wear contacts, so having magnets next to my eye just doesn't seem good. <laughs> But they're out there if you want to try them. I have tried the magnetic. Do you like them? I do like them, but you know how my eyes are little, like my... Oh, did you cut them? No. So I was going to say, always cut your lashes. I don't care if you think they fit, cut them before you put them on. I usually just like pop them up next to the eye, kind of gauge how much I need to cut off. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are putting lashes on and they're just off their eye and it looks silly. So don't I do want to, I want to learn how to do it right. So I cut your, are drugstore lashes okay? Yes. I like Ardell's. You can get those at any drugstore. You just cut them with little scissors. Little baby scissors. And then I love Duo. I get the dark kind. Um, I think it dry, it looks better when it dries. Okay, so that's the glue. Yes, glue, duo glue. It's basically the only one I've used. I've tried maybe two others and I just don't like it. I don't do, I don't put lashes on um, myself before Zoom. But I'm gonna make you do it If today. you wanna go an extra step. People wanna know how do you know, which side do you cut? How do you know how much <laughs> to cut off? So I just, measured up against her eye. So, and you can tell which eye it goes on the way that it comes. Um, usually most lashes will have a shorter lash in the front of it. Can you guys see? I'm like, where should I put that up again? Yeah, there we go. See. Um, this is shorter, so it's gonna go towards the inside of the eye for her other eye. Um, and like I said, I just kind of put it up and you want it a bit shorter than what the actual lash line is. 
I cut off quite a bit because Susan has smaller eyes. Um, so if you guys can see the difference, I cut off quite a bit. Um, but it takes a little practice. But most of the time, just do it and then fit it back to your eye before you put glue on it. I think that's what a lot of people are doing is just plopping glue on it and putting it on. So just all you have to do is hold it up to your eye, see how much space it's taking up, cut any unnecessary. Um, do I cut from the outside? It depends on the shape of the lashes. These are more like cat eye lashes. So they flare and are longer on the outside. So I cut more on the inside. So nice, cat eye. Bring and me there's here. very little glue on here. I see oh. that mistake a lot too. Don't load it up with glue. It's not gonna make it stick more. It's gonna be harder for it to dry and actually adhere to the eye. Don't cake it on. You also need to let the glue. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, I haven't put it directly on her eye because we're waiting for it to dry quite a bit. It does feel like a pajama party. <laughs> <laughs> it's glam camp. You should have this all the time. So I'm just gonna plop it on here. I usually ask my clients to just look down instead of close. You don't want your eyes completely closed when you put it on. That's when you run into it sticking a lot to the bottom lashes. It always gets real quiet when I put the lashes on. <laughs> That I know. I'm fun. like, hold, I hold my breath like, <gasps> <laughs> I think everyone does. Don't glue my eyes shut. So, but I mean, it's normal for it to be a little bit sticky. Um, sometimes I use. See y'all. Look at that. One of these or some tweezers just to have some extra grip on it. Um, I need to, I like keep trying to read these. Ooh. I'm like, can't do it. Mallory will let us know. If there's any opportunity. For so yeah, look at that difference. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's where we're gonna have Susan. <laughs> oh man, y'all about to see. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what is that tool? This tool comes with most lashes, and it kind of instead of holding it with your hands, you can plop it on like that. It might be easier for you to use this, but we'll have you measure first. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All right. Someone's asking if they can wear false eyelashes without eyeshadow. I mean, you can. You, if you're going to do that, you definitely still want to wear liner to kind of even out it looking okay. just like lashes plopped on. All right. So, so I'm going to cut this short end. And then how long can they expect them to last? Um, I always tell my girls, if you don't take them off the same day, don't tell people I did it because <laughs> what happens is you like sleep on them and then they sit on your face all wonky. So you can keep them on. They just okay. don't look as great. I cut a little bit off. Okay. And now. This is hilarious. I've never seen you do your makeup before. I know. Cora Hyatt, when she was at home, she came down one time when. Kana was here doing my makeup and she was like, aren't you so glad my mom's never learned to do this for herself? <laughs> because it's like, I do know enough. I think you look good. On I, I mean, that. I know she. So just hold that and let it dry a little bit. And as she's doing that, we'll kind of go through concealers. So yeah, let it dry, get tacky or else you're just going to be wiggling it around. And yeah, is it, there's some glue on the bottom. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's not going to be perfect, especially if it's your first time I do this like every week and I still get some of it somewhere. Now oh, that's, mascara. that's goopy, boopy mascara. It and then there's the, um, <laughs> that is concealer. There you go. Oh, Look at this concealer that's fun from Charlotte Tilbury. It's got a little fun. spongy sponge. And it's the cutest little shape. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so actually I don't want to confuse you guys. So we'll just go ahead and put the lash on. Dun, dun, dun. So Grace Jensen um, was asking if you have any suggestions because one of her eyes, like they're very asymmetrical um, and one is kind of more hooded than the other. About lashes or just like? I think in general. Um, so the gold makeup. <laughs> is, 
you did a good job. Well, you just want to make sure it's all the way on your lash line. You could probably scoot yours uh, to the outside a little bit more. Oh. See, this is when I throw them. Don't I'm throw like, patience. I don't have any. <laughs> you raised your kids. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, I have when I have to. Yeah, I raised Ryan Hyatt. If you haven't listened to Rich Coach Club episode 100 that just came out, you're going to want to listen to that. Okay. I'm very proud of him. He has another house under contract, and he just got – the Keller Williams <laughs> Culture Award. What does that even mean? That's what I said. And he said, <laughs> he said, I don't know. And I died laughing. That's so Ryan. He won an award. He has no idea why. So I Googled it. And it's literally the Attitude Award. Oh, Ryan. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting? That's a miracle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's my nice way of saying that. So you can always go back and use a Q-tip. This is like one of the biggest things that was a realization for me when I went to learn from a celebrity makeup artist. She does Jessica Alba's makeup and she pulled out a Q-tip, like something messed up and she used a Q-tip and I was like, I don't know why that was so wild to me. I just thought they did something that I didn't do and that's why they were famous. <laughs> but no, they still put out on makeup like this. It, the images are just highly edited. Oh, um, right. <laughs> and this clearly is not edited. <laughs> So who should we do liquid liner or regular liner? Like which one do you guys need? Yeah, both. Help do with? you want liquid, liquid. or regular? <laughs> both. Regular, <laughs> liquid, both. Liquid, okay. Whatever. Wow. Liquid, liquid, regular. Wow. Okay. It's evenly split, liquid. Okay, so or we can do, yeah, like one on each eye. Okay. And you'll just one of it. each. So with liquid, you want to do very small strokes. So don't ever try to go across your eye and think that you have it. You will not have it. And you Why will not? have to clean up a mess. Oh. Trying to get a straight line, I mean, do you actually. But I'm just going to teach you how to do it with small strokes. So the for eyeliner, the goal is to make your lash line look thicker. So you can't do that if you make the line extremely thick. You've got to stay super close to the lash line. So I always start from the outside, get to the middle, and then work my way back in. Oh. So we're just going to do a, I don't know if this is. No, my eyes are watering. Cause of, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look down. So small strokes. And then you can go back and fill them in if it needs to. But super tiny strokes. Sorry, I'm trying to watch. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I'm about to the middle. So then I start back here. I'm going to have you look to your, yeah, right, I think. And then a lot of people don't do the inside corner. And that's what's going to elongate your eye. So do the inside corner. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh, that tickles. Listen. Okay. Juliet snoring. See, look at that difference. Wow. Super small. We're going to have to go back and clean up a little glue mess. <laughs> <laughs> Super small strokes. And if I would have done it any thicker, the lash or the eyeliner would have taken up her whole eye and made it look more close. So stay super close to the lash line. Okay, should I have you? Hmm. I'm like, should I have you do the other one or? I can do the other one. She's like, can you? <laughs> okay, so I start on the outside. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I just already messed it up. Small stroke. And then, is that okay? Mm -hmm. What about this inside corner shit? <laughs> Go very <slow. laughs> <laughs> slowly and inside like don't try to get on top of the lid inside don't poke your eye out oh, no this is so nerve-wracking i should have had you sign away <laughs> <laughs> i'll be like i'm blinded before the rv trip a little more yeah i feel like <laughs> this is good how about that yeah i feel safe there 
<laughs> this is entertaining. This is super entertaining. Okay, so what we're going to do is use the other one for your waterline, which okay. I don't know what I did with it. I know what you did with it right here. This is also Charlotte Tilbury, and this is... She better come through with a percentage. <laughs> <laughs> I love that brand. Maybe look up. Um, I like this look if you're going for a little more dramatic. I wouldn't do it for every day. And Susan just has, like, good eyes for it. It's not for everybody. What do you mean, this dark? Yeah, like, sometimes it just makes, I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, she has great eyes for it. Um, but also staying in the waterline helps. Sometimes people do the waterline and underneath, and it's just too much black. But it's brown or it's too much darkness. <laughs> wow. So yeah, see the difference? I mean, this still is a little bit more of an open look, but this kind of, I would say- See, here's what I have to say. Tired, not tired. <laughs> haggard, not haggard. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have- Everyone, we need to get someone on here with hooded eyes. Do you have hooded eyes? You know who has hooded eyes is Cora. <laughs> yeah, we get Mallory up in here. Okay, perfect. So how long this is does liner? I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> so this is I like to do the eyes first. So we went pretty. I mean, not dramatic, dramatic, but a little. I'm actually going to clean it up a little bit. Susan did her best. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an advocate for people. Once you learn the techniques, you will know how to do your face better than anyone because you've stared at all the things that you like and dislike, and you'll know how to highlight or shade them. By the way, we're sitting in front of natural light. These are the front windows of my living room. Would you say God gives you what? Yeah, this is God's natural filter. And it, makes, <laughs> it makes everyone look good. So if you're, we'll talk about more like technical techniques tomorrow with Brandon and um, Chrissy, but people are, ask a lot about lighting and natural light is fantastic the if best. you've got it, but we also have some, some light suggestions if you're, like my office, I need extra lights. So I'm going in with a smidge of a highlighter. We're doing this color right in the inner corner of the eyes. This is my favorite. I do do this. It makes you look awake, right? Yeah, it just brightens the eye a little bit more. See, I love that trick. But see how much is like done compared to the beginning. And I just really want, or I mean, I should put my face on here. <laughs> I just really want to emphasize whatever you want to bring focus to, start on that or else you'll have too much foundation on, too much lip color. Like whatever the focal point is, do that first. Now we're going to do her concealer, which I'm not a huge, which lighter? Which lightener? That was a shadow. Yeah in this palette, this Charlotte Tilbury palette. The Glamour Muse. Ooh. Called the Glamour Muse. <laughs> and actually, I'm gonna do what I normally do first. Which one do you use uh, more? Okay, so this is not foundation. This is a glow. Ooh. It makes you, somebody was asking how to be glowy without yes. shiny. And this like is my new favorite thing. It's called Wonder Glow. So I haven't used it before, but I think I've saw something on it. I'm just going to go ahead and put some where I would highlight anyway, underneath the foundation, and then probably go back with a little bit more. So, so I put it all over my whole face, <laughs> which is probably not. So I'm going where I highlight her cheek here. Oh, let me see that. And I'm going down her nose. I'm not saying it's wrong. I There's stuff that I don't know or like products I haven't used. Um, so I could be using it wrong, but this is how I want to use it. So I put it on. So we just gonna highlight her face a little bit with that. Gives you a little glowy glow. And then I use very minimal foundation. Like it's mostly unnecessary. This is called Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I like to start from the center of the face because that's where people are focusing on. 
So you don't need to go in here with too much. You just want to blend from inside out. Is this the right color for me? We're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, and no, I'm gonna take my earrings off. I don't want any makeup on these bad boys. I'll put them back on though, cause they're fabulous. So this is a little thicker than I like it. So I always keep some rose water around to kind of help me blend better. Ooh, rose water. And it's good for your skin. Can I make my own rose water with my rose garden that I have? Oh gosh, you can boil down some rose petals. <gasps> You guys, I'm going to I'm going to make my own line of Zoom worthy <laughs> rose petal spray from my new roses. I'm not actually doing that, but it sounds It's fun. really easy. It is. Mm -hmm. You just boil roses. Yep. What brand of lashes do you prefer again? I like Ardell's. Ardell's. Ardell and Kiss has some good ones too. Okay. Yeah, no, this color. Oh, hi is Bianca. Good. Kana gave me a rose water spray, and holy moly, <laughs> it's the best ever. It's not going to be as good, Bianca, as the Hyatt Riot Rose Garden. No. <laughs> yeah, those imported. Rose yes, rose those rose. David Austin. Da oh, so my fancy David Austin roses, I put an Instagram story about it and tagged David Austin roses, and they liked it. I'm, they said you were doing a good job. I'm Rose Famous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know what was a thing? Like, they were Being rose famous? Lady, yeah. I am now in the underworld of plant lady stuff. The I have gone down the, the rabbit hole. Net. <laughs> the flower net. She's going to start her own rose water production. Rose water, what else could we start? Um, you could sell rose dry them and do confetti yes. out of roses okay they also want to know your favorite brow product um i actually a lot of times like eyeshadow the becca ombre eyes palette is my favorite for brows becca ombre so yeah make sure all of this is well blended so what do you think of this color? Is it too light for it's me? A, it's a little light, but we can warm it up with bronzer. Okay. I like to keep two foundations, one the shade that I am and one darker. Oh, okay. Do you ever use your fingers or a sponge? I do. When I, well, I don't have foundation on, but when I put foundation on, I use my hands. I use my hands too. Are you a fan of BB cream in place of foundation? Yeah, like I said, I'm not huge on foundation. It works more for camera stuff, but it's not my favorite. Listen, I'm gonna have me some foundation. You don't need it. You need like, you could just use concealer in any spots you need to cover. Get it the same shade as your skin, not two shades lighter, two shades darker, same shade, and just use that to spot correct. I don't think that's dynasty level. It's not. <laughs> 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 but we're going to go in with this bronzer. <laughs> and so... I yeah, let's do this. I bought this because I liked this. Brush. I liked <laughs> this, and I like the brush, and I have no <laughs> idea how to use it. So, I mean... Let us learn. brush, but it's kind of... It's big. Like, I like to have a little more control over where I'm putting it. Okay, let's see. Um, but essentially what this will do is, of course, warm up the face and recreate the lines um, where the natural shadows fall on your face when you don't have foundation on. Okay. So I always like to start back by the ear and go towards the face. So we're doing it right on top of her cheekbone. Can we do this monthly? Yes. <laughs> a series of classes. Um, it really does take quite a bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, like, you can go out with a snatched face all the time. A snatched face. Mm -hmm. So what about concealing large pores? Um, so I'm an esthetician, and I care way more about skin than I do makeup. So I would say focus on getting a good regimen down, and especially something with exfoliating HAs and BHAs to help smooth your pores out. Makeup is just going to sit on top of it. So as you can see, we're warming it up, warming it up. 
I like to always keep the foundation brush on hand to make sure that everything is blended out. Mm. We don't want any lines ever. No lines. You can go on the chin a little bit. This is interesting. <laughs> you can go down the nose if you want. I don't tend to on Susan. She has like a little button nose. People are asking if you have like a moisturizer you recommend for oily skin. Um, I love the clearing oil by Live or Live Botanical. Um, that one's it right now. It is an oil, an oil, which people aren't used to, but essentially if your skin is producing too much oil, it's not getting the correct moisture that it needs. No, I'm not wearing foundation. Yes, oil is awesome. <laughs> Has this been going the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Yes, this chat is lit. So going back on this other side, warming up the face. I know a lot of people are like, should I contour? And you don't really need to, as long as you're warming up the face and shading it in the correct places. People want to know if you'll give us, which I've asked for, a list of your favorite products. Um, yeah, I could She always that. says yes. I will I'm building a kit for you, which actually all this stuff is fine and we should just use it. No, but I'm sure I need like you though look at you. I don't know. <laughs> People just be wanting stuff to want it. It's true. Quote her. <laughs> um, and then I like to go in with some blush. Blush is your friend. I love blush. I'm a blush whore. Like, give me all the blush. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using the same brush, but you could use something fluffier if you wanted. That's the bronzer brush. I wouldn't use this. <laughs> Let's put the top back on it. Put it to bed, because it's course it been rejected like, by Kena. <laughs> it's not rejected. It's just more of like an all over instead of a specific point. So I like to go right in the middle of the eye um, like apple of the cheek to start with blush and little teensy bit at a time. If you put too much on, it's really hard to get off. I like this color, but you definitely could use a pinker color. I have another one. These this, this is kind of pretty. This is the Not super pink. But I have but Let's try this. No, yeah, you're right. This is supposed to be a, like a bronzer highlighter hmm. combo which I also don't know how to use. Is blush supposed to match your natural lip color? Hmm. I suppose it can, but a lot of times you're putting on a different lip color. So if you want to keep it super natural, then yes. People, people thought you said hoarder <laughs> instead of whore. You're a blush whore or no, hoarder? Whore. Ho. <laughs> I'm a <hope> for <laughs> What foundation? This is what we put on me. Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless. Airbrush Flawless. Okay, so I want you to have enough time, so I'm just gonna get the, blend that in there. I need one of these brushes. And blush, like, it just brightens up the face. It does give, like, more of a youthful glow. Um, so don't skip it. I don't know why people are so afraid. You want guess, some color on your face. Yeah. Especially if you're going to be on Zoom and if you're using lights. Yeah, it'll, lights will wash you out so quickly. We'll talk some more about that tomorrow when we talk about lighting. Right now we're just in front of my living room windows, which we like. So, and this is without putting any concealer on too. Like, your skin is in pretty good condition. Don't people be overusing concealer underneath their eyes and that's when it tends to crease a whole lot. Don't do it. Um, now, lip color. Susan has like a signature color that she wears a lot. Which would be like this. This is my liner. Let's do. I don't really do liner a whole lot. She doesn't do liner a whole lot. <laughs> Just because we change it, um, your lip. I never really see you wear that color pink. That, because that goes on top of my bold color. 
Let's do, you have a lot of bold colors on. So this is, <laughs> right, she's saying I'm wearing a lot of bold colors. So she's trying to tone my ass down a little bit. Yeah, because like I said, we want one focal point. So her eyes look amazing. And so I think I'm just going to gloss it. Candace is asking, how do you choose a lip color? Because she always thinks they look garish on her. <laughs> um, I think lip colors are the most thing, the my favorite thing to play around with because you can try a bunch of them until you find the right one. I like to stick into like pinky, mauves. I just started getting into browns, which I like because I'm super tan right now. So it's like my nude. Um, yeah, I don't really have very, I don't have good tips for lip color because I try them all. <laughs> And yeah. even when I'm doing someone, I'll do, I'll mix a few before I put an actual color on. But for her right now, I wanted to not clap. She has yellow. On her right, hair. right. So for the full dress is very colorful. Yes. Yeah, so we, we don't want to match the dress exactly. Um, and focal point being the eye. So do you match the clothes? No. no. <laughs> do you put on mascara over the false eyelashes? Yes. And I'm weird, like I said, you'll come up with your own like way that you do makeup. I always put on mascara last. It is like my finishing touch. So I think do you, you want me to do, do that. that. <laughs> so um look at that. Look and at that. I always do bottom lashes. It op opens up the eye even more. Um I'm always scared doing my bottom. How about that? <laughs> you laughing at me? No, because I'm just like creeping like behind creeping. you as you do it. I use this Lancome. I also use the that Charlotte Tilbury like clunky. Uh, Legendary Lashes. This is some good shit. I'm going to take, so this is the same um, thing that, or palette that we've been using. I'm going to take some of this highlighter, or maybe that was a different way, and just put a little bit. Oh on the tops of the cheekbone. And as you can see, it's very little. Like, wait, would you dip that in? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. She's making this, look at what she's doing. And then I like to put some on the bridge of the nose. <gasps> and then if you want to have the illusion of fuller lips, you can put some right in there. Y'all. <laughs> so how about we did not record the very start, mm -hmm. but you just got walk a, through. You got enough of a a gist. So yeah, it actually usually um, <laughs> goes a little smoother than that, but you look great. And so the finishing touch for video is powder. Um, like I like a, a nice dewy look, but on camera you definitely want to have less shine. Um, so I use, oops, I have two, I've kind of been liking this one too. And I don't have any powder, so this is good to know. Yeah, for your day to day, I think you can skip powder, but. No color powder. RCMA, it is. RCMA. And I think you can get this as a person. I'm not sure I order it on a pro site. We will find out. We're going to get Oh yeah, we're going to get this list. <laughs> we're going to get this list. How about if you have dry skin, skip the powder, right? Just moisturize Just really moisturize. well. And only put it in the spots that are needed, which is usually right across the forehead, down the nose, and then I always like to put a little bit <laughs> underneath the eyes. I mean, look at all this. So just make sure that you blend it out because you don't want people thinking that you're doing drugs during the day. <laughs> people already think I do drugs. <laughs> Someone's asking if you would skip the powder if you have dry skin. Um, yeah, only put it on your T-zone and underneath your eye. And moisturize before you do your makeup, always. As a person. <laughs> I have a pink. Um, okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just tell me which questions to answer. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> do you have five minutes to answer questions after I finish talking about on the six? Okay. So you guys, I'm going to do a screen share again. And to, so first of all, I want to invite you tomorrow to um, the part two of this, which is confidence on camera, how to like 
not care, you know, how you look and sound on camera, feel great about how you look and sound on camera. We're going to have camera tips, lighting tips, techie tips from Chrissy Weathersby Ball, who is a yogi, a life coach, um, an elite athlete, and also a Hollywood stunt double. Any popular movie that you've probably watched where there was a female lead doing badass shit, that was her doing it. Um, who better to learn camera confidence from than her? And also Brandon Jones, who is the head videographer for my agency. So feel free to keep typing your questions. Kana is going to answer those in a minute, but I do want to tell you about an opportunity to join on the Six Mastermind. Um, I'm going to do a screen share really quickly. And um, yeah, she covered all, all her tips. I'm just making sure. So uh, we are enrolling, onboarding people right now for a 12-month mastermind of mine that I'm really proud of. And the proof is in the profit. I'm gonna breeze through some of these testimonials. This is Jessica Miller, who I'm actually interviewing right after this webinar for my podcast. She talks about that On The Six was the best business decision she ever made. She generated 53,000 in new revenue. Um, Jackie Gartman, who is a coaching legend, said this is the busiest she's ever been. Um, Kimberly Lucht, who in the first month of On The Six made an extra 20K. This is Caitlin Lyons, who we're so proud of. She actually re-upped for another round of On The Six, sold out her group program, she has some new updates too, where she finally like locked into CEO mode in the last couple of weeks and has generated a bunch of new revenue. Um, Emily Muirnan, who I've done a webinar with, she specializes in um, live events and pivoted because of COVID and helping all of us who have to be on Zoom and be Zoom ready, um, how to have uh, broadcasts and Zoom events that aren't boring. She's amazing. And this is Stacy Bruce, who's one of my bear coaches, and she's also an On The Six alum. And Allison Bagore, who um, I have a Rich Coach Club episode coming out with her. She talks about how it helped her get her systems and her content and grew her email list. She's amazing. Dr. Alessandra Duke, who took her local stuff to a national event offering. Um, here's what's included in On The Six. You get quarterly private one-on-one -on -one sessions with my COO and strategist, Anna Mika, and, a, and four 30-minute one-on-one calls with our head business and accountability coach, Patty Rantapa, who is fabulous. And for those of you who are in on the six who know what I'm talking about, feel free to light up the chat with your reviews. Uh, what's included in the mastermind is an uplifting community, um, 12 money generating assignments and challenges. You also get 24 live class calls with me. So two a month for a whole year. And I cover all kinds of things. In yesterday's class, I talked about setting goals, um, pre-capping, getting the foundation set in your company. But we really put together a thoughtful curriculum to help you set goals and clear your blocks and get moving. You also get 24 live marketing sessions with Anna Mika, who is the COO for my company and strategist. She's amazing. Our brains work really differently. Um, so you get like motivated and a kick in the pants from me and you get practical proven strategy from Anna. Um, the whole team reviews your marketing you can submit your materials twice a month for a marketing review and get real feedback and assistance on what you're creating. There's also weekly tech and marketing automation Q&A time that happens. Um, if you sign up, you also get a free seat at my signature event, Finish Strong. This year it's virtual due to COVID, but it's a two-day event where we cover things like business planning, podcasting, sales, mindset, and motivation, and a whole lot more. Um, you also get access to In Demand, which is our new digital product. And it's a updated marketing training program that tells you how to create compelling offers, 
um, how to create a successful communication plan and how to set up sales systems that convert browsers into buyers, which is what we all want. Um, we also have hired experts to help us create anti-racist and anti-oppressive trainings and resources in our program. So if you are someone who is looking for a program that knows what's up, um, this is the one, all right? Um, we also are quite well known for our legendary swag boxes for our Mastermind members. So we send you a box of goodies to your doorstep. And what's also included um, is, are things like a 30 day action plan that you get pretty immediately. You can visit, I know Mallory will light up the chat, but this is the link. You can go apply now. Patty Rantapa is doing consult calls all week so that you can get started with us. A new crew has just been onboarded and we are ready to go with you. Um, when you click on that link, you can click start. You can fill out the form and hit submit. And then once you submit your application, we will be in touch with you to have a complimentary, no pressure consult call to see if it's a good fit for you. But I do want to go through um, the price. So on the six for an entire year of all of that support and all of those resources, it's 10K. If you click on the link and apply and you are accepted into the program, it's agreed that it's a great fit. We do have payment plans available. So there's a one, three, six, nine, and 12 pay available. So you can make monthly payments if you need to. So I'm gonna pause and see what questions are coming up um, about the, what kind of moisturizer, um, anything coming up about on the six, let us know. And while you're typing your questions about the mastermind, um, we're also gonna answer some of these other questions. Thank you, Sarah. Um, oh, everybody's excited about tomorrow too. Um, so Grace says how, so it's been a persistent annoyance for her how to make the hooded eye look more like a non-hooded eye. So she took a lot of notes and, um, see what other questions moisturizer for women over 50 um it just depends on what your issues are just because you have more mature skin doesn't mean that it, it isn't healthy like <laughs> <laughs> so i i will say i'm 47 <laughs> um and i really like charlotte tilbury's miracle cream it's it makes you very glowy huh that's a lot of use it I, I should preface with that I'm a holistic esthetician, and so all my recommendations are typically like more natural skincare. Um, yeah, she's she's like gives the side eye to some of my stuff. Uh, whatever works, but um, typically if you're feeling more dry, you'll want to incorporate having a hydrosol, which is a floral water, like the rose water um, that I use to help blend out more. Um, follow with a serum, a treatment serum, and then follow that with a balm to make sure that all of that moisture stays in. A balm? Yes, I love balm. What so balm? Um, I love the Healing Balm by Laurel Whole Plant Organics. Um, there's a Skin Barrier one by Live Botanical, and there's one by Marble of Milkweed that I love too. But yeah, get with the balms. <laughs> You've not made a list for me, so oh I'm just God. now understanding about balms. Well, I don't know if it Susan can tap. She doesn't want me to throw any smoke, but she doesn't come to me for facials. She goes elsewhere, so I'm, maybe she'd have that list soon. I'm booking <laughs> eyebrow tinting and a facial before the RV. What if we did a facial on oh the RV? Oh, gosh. What about that? No facial on the RV? How am I supposed to pack for doing makeup, going kayaking, and facials. Like, is there enough room for extra stuff? Listen. You already you, know that you're going to have way too many things. Have the, 
I'm a one, contractor. <laughs> one, one must bring, like the wardrobe, <laughs> the wardrobe, the Schitt's Creek level fun that we're yeah, going to have. So no. We I'll have probably the, do many facials because I'll need my stress levels to stay, like, even the keels. How many, let's take a vote. Don't y'all think it would be great TV to have like facials on the RV? Everyone agrees. I can already yeah. tell. Shit's Creek level. <laughs> can you put makeup over balm? You can. I, when, if you're first starting to use it, I would only use the balm at night. Um, but once your skin gets more used to it, yes. So is it thick? It's kind of thick, yeah. Natural remedies for oily skin. I love anything with licorice in it. Um, there are natural derivatives of salicylic, salicylic acid, like uh, willow bark. Um, but may, figuring out what type of moisture you need. I think a lot of times people get over oily and stay that way because they're not paying attention to their body, whether it's something you're eating. Like for me, I'm super oily right now because I've been eating a lot of meat and my skin just doesn't like meat. But mm. sometimes you don't even take the time to figure that out. So maybe cut out dairy, meat. Dairy. Dairy will but mess me up. Y'all love some cheese, I swear. Who's y'all? <laughs> White people or the Hyatt? Um, it's interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh, Listen. The brand of the balm is Laurel Whole Plant Organics or Live Botanical. Drink water. Agree. Drink lots of water. Also, I don't. This has all your amino acids and B vitamins. Vitamins are important. A lot of times when people have dark under eyes, they're like, what can I use concealer? You're usually lacking vitamin K or like a few other deficiencies that you need to look into. I'm not a doctor, so definitely have tests ran by your doctors that can tell you what levels are low. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, bags under eye. I love a good gua sha. Gua sha. Yeah, you have one, don't you? Is it called a gua sha? Or, well, so I, you can use rollers or, yeah, the flat tools, a, a gua sha. And put them in the freezer? Yeah, I have a, a mini fridge for mine. This is so, <laughs> so we'll have to do gua shas on the RV. Yeah, let's talk skincare and then we progress into makeup. This is a three-parter. This is a three-parter. Who <laughs> votes that we have Kana come back? And oh, talk about skincare. Man, so many tools. So many. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Little, everybody's all, all excited about this. Skin, where it starts. I'll bring all my toxic products <laughs> and she can poke fun at me the whole time. <laughs> we'll just set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> all for the video. <sighs> um, all right. I want to respect Kana's time. You probably have facials or like a Brazilian wax yeah, or some shit to I'm do. Doing, I wax every single day. So if you're in need of that too. You know what I think about all that waxing? Other than eyebrows. I think we should. No. This is what <laughs> she, needs to be. she needs to do a Brazilian wax before we go on this RV trip if she wants facials. Let me, let me tell y'all about this. I'm like, you better in. Scott Hyatt can enjoy <laughs> the 1970s level bush that is happening. That was definitely like, can I say that right now? Well, probably, you say everything. <laughs> I, I probably got a million unsubscribes because of that. porn bush is definitely an aesthetic, but you don't have to have that aesthetic if you don't want to. <laughs> it's what's the dynasty aesthetic? <laughs> it's probably similar, or maybe like a bush that is a landing strip. Um, we can definitely do a bikini wax too. <laughs> I said I am a big baby about it's not that bad it is bad I had it one time the jazzled is dynasty are no, we gonna do the jazz I always wanted to do stencils like make a star or something so maybe Susan will have to <laughs> <laughs> let's go time TV after dark edition yeah we're gonna bejazzle and star <laughs> tattoo the the JJ people are like bad okay all right, uh, so Kana will be back. I want to thank you all for your time. Metallic. <laughs> <Tim Tr> <laughs> okay. We are going to send this recording out for those of you watching this replay. You're welcome. Go sign up for On The Six if you want to make your first six figures. And mwah, I love you people. You have a great day. Stay tuned for the RV trip. Bye. Bye.